one says the question the Pesach says that he took him not the direct route but rather the circuitous route because if they will, they'll see war so Rashi cites the Chazal here he took him he took him the circuitous route and they said you could imagine if he took him the, the straight route the direct route definitely they would have wanted to come back but factually why did they not come back when said need ocean no show even the circus Hashem didn't allow them said the same thing I mean, what's the call Homer right it's true they would have definitely but factually they weren't going to come if the circus they wanted to come so but why didn't they come back because there was a magefa there was a plague there was some, something happened which gave them the understanding that the behavior is not going to be tolerated so there also the behavior is not going to be tolerated so what's the what's the Kalva Homer? Good, it's a Kalva Homer, but what's the value of the Kalva Homer? Just simple understanding. No, but it's, it's irrelevant. It's a, it's a good Kalva Homer, but after everything's said and done, it doesn't make a difference. It wouldn't have made a difference. <coughs> but Hashem wouldn't have, he wouldn't allow them. Finished. Don't, don't use such fancy words, please. Say, well, speak. They, they, they one, one, uh, at this point, they had to get the scene up. It's your it influence, Rabbi. He uses these French words. Well, I, I had to make difference to uh, Rabbi. But they had a one, uh, what would you call it, a one destiny. They had to get to Sinai if they didn't get there. So why would Hashem, first they didn't have GPS. So wherever Moshe... Mm-hmm. Moshe didn't didn't tell them where they're going. There was no GPS. They were just walking around. So it wasn't for the Jewish people. It obviously, it was for the Egyptians because they they were they knew the desert. Derech mukam derech mukam. You know what derech means? Means the crooked route. I used the nice yeah. word circuitous route. So they they had to get to Sinai. So however uh, they they got there, they had to get there. Okay. But they wanted, but even Derek Bukum, they wanted to go back. They wanted to go back just the same. So definitely they would have wanted to. Therefore, what? Just the opposite. When you could have gone back more easily, it's less of a claim against you. Mm. Just the opposite. If when it's so complicated, you want to come back, so you can, so it, so it's even more of a claim. Right? They seemingly are more culpable. No, 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 no. Eventually he's going. The whole idea is to lead them, that he wants them to, to pursue them into, into, because he has to get them to the Yamsuf. Right now, it's to get the Egyptians into the Yamsuf. Yeah, that, they're going to the Yamsuf. That's where they're going right now. Okay. Okay. Are you saying that it's the circuitous route is to attract the Egyptians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So what were you saying? Are you safe? No, it's a Vayasi. They will come. Vayasi from the word Saviv. Vayasi, Elohim is Om Der Chamidbor. Yamsuf. He took them the circuitous route. He says, "He sibo minader chapshutel der chakuma." He took them from the straight route to the circuitous route. Yamsuf, right? Der chamid bo yamsuf through the desert to yamsuf. The chamush model b'nei yisrael may destroy him. Okay, Rashi chamushim and chamushim el mezuyonim. They were armed. The fishy sibon, 
Asibosim Amibo who gorum lahem shaodu chamushim. Since he was taken to the desert, therefore they left armed. Shilu he see them there chishu lo yim chumoshim lahem kol mashet shrichim. What's that? Lo hoyim chumoshim lahem kol mashet shrichim. They wouldn't have, have to go out with all the provisions. Yarm doesn't only mean with, with weaponry. We'll see. It means they were all the provisions. They went out with all the provisions. Called them over mokel and mokel. Obedato lichno shomashet zorich. Person's traveling and he has, he's able to buy on the way. He doesn't take all his provisions with him. El shuporish lemidbor. So he has to prepare. Because of zelo nichtav kim l'shabes ha'ozen shlo toma tisma b'mechemes ha'molech chemes sichon v'og u'midjon mechon ohilam klizayin. Where do they have weaponry? Shahikum yisrael l'fi chorev. It said they had smitten them with the sword. Chenu om b'vatem tavur chamushim chen tag wogles mzurozim. Of York Hanichov, Zoris, the Rach Hamushim, another which is not the simple understanding, Echod Michamishi Yotsu. Only fifth one out of Mitzrayim. Now it's going to give us the whole thing on the Holocaust. Okay, the, the way, that's what he was there yesterday. He was making the mathematical calculations to deliver it this morning. Varbo Chalokim, Mesu Bishlushim. They could be had weapons in, in Egypt. They used to go out and hunt, whatever it is. They had weapons. But what did they take him? Okay. Uh, evidently, of course, of course, it says since they were going there, Hamidbar, they were told, they were instructed they were going there, Hamidbar. So therefore, they, they took what they had to take with them. You know, in some Chalala Ness, I, the whole thing was a Ness, right? I hear that 120 miles happened in a moment. No, but they. Yeah, but you, you travel, you want to travel light. You're taking 40 pack animals of gold and silver. You have, you have room. Just the opposite says that they even wanted to leave even the wealth. It was too much for them to, you know, they didn't want to bother. But, but weaponry, weaponry is a necessity. Right? Gold and, and silver is not a necessity. You take a little bit less. Good. My interpretation of the Torah mentioning that they, they, they were armed was to <coughs> show that when the, uh, uh, when the Egyptians were slaughtered, they were never slaughtered. They were never slaughtered. Egyptians were never slaughtered. So they weren't slaughtered. They never confronted them. They, there was never hand-to-hand -hand battle combat. Never happened. They're coming after them. Right. That's what he said. That's the Sephardim. That's, 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 that's what is Sephardim. That's the Sephardim. That's, that's the Sephardim. So he learns that's what it is. That's what it is. Exactly. This guy plagiarizes. He's a plagiarizer. Okay. What, food wine? No. No, 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 no. It says, say to the Oslohim. They, they had no provisions even for a short period to go into the desert. It says they just had a little bit they had. Okay. You know where he's coming from now? Yeah, he, there's, there's quite a bit of snow in Maine. Okay. You know, some of these people are not students of the history. It's a known fact. Any they believe. Et, any civilization never records any of their failings, which which shames the, the civilization. Especially if the civilization still still exists, right? Egypt, who built the pyramids? There's no mention in their history that the Jews were ever there. You know that? Yes. Of course not. Same question. It's not a question. Let me ask a question. If you have a president that lies, when you know he's lies, lying, so in history they're not, they're not going to delete from history that they should look bad? No, no, no. You'll discuss it later with Howard. V'yigach Moshe Satz Moshe Yosef. 
חמושים, אחד מחמישי יועצו. ארבע חלוקים מישהו שלושה מאפלו. Four fits died during the three days of darkness. No, it's telling us only a fifth went out. Only a fifth went out. Meaning, Zuchat Lechesenu Rayach was only a fifth. Wasn't so simple. Wasn't so simple. The vast majority failed. They didn't have the betochem. Yeah, it's such it's such a chiddush. No, it's such a chiddush. It's such a chiddush. They saw the they saw the esemakos. Well, this already him by the afelo. They saw the majority of the makos. You'd say you believe already that Hashem could did this. What's the problem going going to the desert? Right. So how do we understand it? Alan, this, this is a new question. Sorry. If through Afelo, up to the days of darkness, the Jews saw whatever that Hashem is willing to take the, 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 mo- the mighty civilization, destroy them for us. Nature means nothing. Correct? So if that's the case, what's the big deal to go into a desert and survive the desert? But four-fifths, they didn't have, they didn't have the Yamuna. No, there's nothing there. What are they going to remain for? No, Zachel Chesed Nuraich, Lech Dechach Reb Mir Be'eretz Lo Zeruah. The emphasis is because it's Eretz Lo Zeruah. The Pesach says the Novi says you went into an unplanted desert without security. That's the, that's the emphasis. That's the, what the Novi is saying. Not, not for any other reason. So the, evidently they were worried about that Eretz Lo Zeruah. But if they saw what Hashem did on, uh, for them on their behalf until suppose, what, what is, what's the big deal there is Lo Zeruah? Right? Yet they didn't have the faith. Why didn't they have it? So I was thinking, just now, I thought of a question, but I was thinking, we find, what was the failing of the Jews in the desert? Why did they, why did they always second-guess Hashem? Because Hashem believed, they believed, that this is a ploy to destroy them ultimately. Right? They didn't trust God. How do you not trust them? Not. Okay. But they didn't want to go out. They didn't want to go out. You know? No, I mean, you're going the other way. No, wait, wait a second. Again, again. Again, again, again. Start over. I want to hear it again. What are you saying? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not enough. It's not enough. They didn't want to go out. They already stated that we're not leaving. We're not leaving. We're not going and we're not leaving. No, that's it. No Jews in Europe. They believe it's, getting, it's going to get better. The, the younger son said, we're out of here. And they left the parents behind, and the children survived, and the parents were, were, were killed. Because they believed it's going to pass. Because whatever, whatever, whatever it is. But the Navi says, because it's Eretz Lo So it's, cl- it, it's clear, again, the Sephora makes a point here. The reason why they suspected Hash, that this was a ploy was because we were over the Eretz Lozer of Israel. Since we were pagans, it, it, it's what the Malachim said. It doesn't make any sense. Why is, he, why is he treating us differently from the Egyptians? The answer is, ultimately, he will destroy us. He will destroy us in the desert. Meaning, you need miracles. Without miracles, it doesn't go. So what's going to be? He says, you know something? I'm just going to leave you stranded there. So what's going to be? You're going to starve to death. So there, they it, believe was suspect to such a degree on this point, they couldn't move. They're not leaving. The other is they were ambivalent on this point. It wasn't a clear point. We believe, but when they started to see signs later of there was no water, there's no food, doesn't make if, if, if you're redeeming us, why don't you provide it for Hashem to provide it? Why is, why is he putting us through, through, through the ringer over here? He puts us in the vise. Do you wait for your child to, to, to be at the brink of, of starvation? Then you feed him. Why? Right? That's when they themselves say, you know, something also, you know, it's starting to make sense. But the people of Egypt, why they didn't want to leave? We see in, the, in the actuality it's happening. And when the Miraglim came, that was the confirmation on it. That was the issue. Because they themselves felt they weren't deserving. It didn't make any sense. Why should, why should Hashem take us out of here? 
The answer is, ultimately, we're going to pay the price. What about Ron Neged Penechem? Right? What about Rogan Neged Penechem? They were astrologers. Why did Paro initially not want him to go out? Because they saw in the stars that there's going to be bloodshed in the desert. So they also, they, all these things pl interplayed simultaneously with them. They said, no, sir, that's the case. We're not going. Right? Paro was next to Israel, and was. Hashem had to change it. It was Damilo. But initially, that's really what it meant. So all this continuously resonated in their heads. Something, something's not right over here. Right? I think, I think that's the shot to be continued.